my YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing part two of my Easter collection, the Easter Chick. You'll need some yellow yarn, orange yarn, some stuffing, 5mm safety eyes, a stitch marker, a 4mm crochet hook, a sewing needle and a pair of scissors. So we're going to start with the orange yarn and we're just going to make our beak. So we're going to start off with a slip knot and we're going to chain two. I'm going to turn our work and single crochet in the second chain from the hook. We'll now just tie off. And set that aside for later. So now in yellow yarn, we're going to create a magic ring. And then I'm going to put six single crochets into that magic ring. We're now going to do two single crochets in each stitch. We're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next. We'll do that six times. So we're now just going to work in the back loops and now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next two and we'll do that six times For the next three rows, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next two. And we'll do that six times. We're now going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next stitch. We'll do that six times. Now for the next four rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to add a little stuffing. So just pop that down to the base of the body. And now we can sew on the beak. So roughly between row 10 and 11, we'll sew the beak just there. And that should just go across one stitch. So now for the eyes, we can go just one row above it on either side. So one stitch in between the two eyes, like so. Once you're happy with the positioning, we'll just add the backs to those. Add some more stuffing and we'll continue to close the head. So we're now going to single crochet three together. We'll do that four times. And that should adequately close the head. Okay, and now we'll just tie off. We'll just sew that little gap closed and then we'll weave in the ends. Okay, so in orange yarn, we're going to create a slip knot. And then we'll find the front loops left over from row four. 
So roughly around here, we're going to add the foot slightly on the right hand side. And we're going to join with a single crochet. And then we'll do another single crochet in the next stitch. We're now going to chain one and turn our work. Now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next. We are now going to chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. We're then going to find that next stitch there and do another slip stitch there. And we'll repeat that three times. So chain, oops, chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. We'll do that one more time. It's quite tricky doing slip stitches in there in this small work. And then one last slip stitch. And then we're just going to tie off. And now we're just going to sew that foot in so it isn't sort of dangling a bit out. So we're going to weave in the ends and just bring it a bit closer to the body. Like so. OK, and we'll do another one of those. And there you have your tiny little Easter chick. I really hope you enjoyed this video as there are many more on the way. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons to be notified when the next tutorial is released and follow me on Instagram at Karina Jane Crochet to see more of my up and coming projects. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.